Hi. In tutorial 15, I showed you how to identify users who are running BitTorrent. Now I'm going to show you how to stop BitTorrent traffic entirely on your network. So, first thing we're going to do is to add a new model rule that will mark all the connection for any other traffic. So before we just we were just marking packets. Now we're going to mark a connection. So forward action mark connection and we are going to call this other con I'm going to leave it to pass through add a comment to this and then we're going to move this rule right below the last peer-to-peer -peer rule so it should your rules should be looking like this in this order if it is below it may not it won't work properly uh, next thing we're going to do is remember this rule that we had created in tutorial 15 to identify the BitTorrent users what we're going to do is to add a timeout to this rule so we're going to set this to every so we can say every five minutes if the user is running BitTorrent after five minutes this address list will expire so right now we are seeing where it was created here so after five minutes it will expire so what we don't want to do is to continue blocking traffic when the user is not torrenting so just to reduce the load on the router this is the most efficient way to do it so we're going to remove uh, this address list we're going to reset the counters all right so you're seeing where there is no bit torrenting taking place right now all right so in order to block the bit torrent traffic we're going to add some more rules one the first rule is we're going to add and drop all peer-to-peer -peer traffic so we're going to select all the peer-to-peer -peer action drop I'm going to call this skill P P2P okay okay alright uh, next we're going to add the next rule and this one we're going to look for the connection mark that says other connection action we're going to drop these also but for go back to source address list we're going to choose a BitTorrent user so we're going to drop any other connection for this BitTorrent user and uh, I'm going to comment on that and call this other con for connections. Okay, that. Okay. All right. So let me just reset that. And reset the counter. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate how this filter works. So I'm going to disable these rules first, and then show you what would happen. So, say for instance a user is using BitTorrent so I'm going to start this BitTorrent download and right away you can see where it identifies the user so if we go to address list we're seeing where the user is torrenting and this rule will expire in five minutes all right so let me show you how so traffic is going through okay so now we're going to enable the first rule so you're seeing where it identified that peer-to-peer -peer is taking place and it's dropping those buckets however based on how BitTorrent works it's very difficult to just kill it kill the traffic based on just this rule that's why I added a second one so now I'm going to enable this rule and let us see what happened you realize the traffic is now slowing down considerably so 
so it's getting less and less so yep that's how you kill BitTorrent traffic just like that so you don't have to worry about BitTorrent anymore that's a, the easiest way to kill that traffic so that's it for this video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching